with all the uh, talk about the Menendez brothers and whether or not their uh, verdict will be overturned, there is another case from around that same era that now making headlines yeah. because it involves Michael Jordan. Uh, for those of you not of a certain age, Michael Jordan's father, James Jordan, was gunned down, murdered in 1993 and stunning crime at the time. Everyone wondering what had happened. He had pulled over yeah. on the side of the road. It right, North was, Carolina was Highway. sleeping and- They said uh, an 18 year old uh, man, he was only 18 at the time, named Daniel Green, walked up and in a botched robbery, shot and killed James Jordan. Right, and Daniel Green was convicted of the case, uh, convicted in, that, uh, in the trial, which yeah. went down in 96. But yeah. now the judge in that case has come forward and said, we need to overturn that because there's something that happened in the case that he's, what we don't understand here, what we don't know yet, is why uh, Judge Weeks is just coming forward with this now. Right. He says it's always bothered him uh, that there was some testimony that he had questions about and now uh, thinks that it could mean Daniel Green is actually innocent. Um, and this is all based on findings from a forensic blood expert who he says, the judge says, did not disclose that those findings came back either negative or inconclusive. Um, but he's saying, look, this is something that I've you know, dealt with over almost 30 years now. I share this remorse in wondering whether Green was actually the guy. Now, there was also another co-defendant in this case. His name was Larry Demery. And this entire time, um, Green has said that they were at a cookout and Demery left to go make a drug deal and came back and he was all uh, disheveled and, uh, and worried. And he asked him to go help him get rid of a body. Now, Green says that was his involvement. He had nothing to to do in killing Jordan.